The next grammar point is more on compound verbs. In the grammar point 10.1, we learned compound verbs. Here's a quick recap of the compound verbs. The compound verbs are the combination of two verbs. The first verb takes the root of the verb and carries the main meaning of the compound verb. And the second verb, the modifier or the modifying verb, adds some nuances to the meaning of the main verb. The modifying verb also dictates the grammar. That means the number, the gender, person, and also tense and mood. In the grammar point 10.1, we learned four modifying verbs. Jana, Lena, Dena, and Chukna. Here we will learn compound verbs with other modifiers. The first modifier we take is Batna. It means to sit, but it loses this meaning completely. It has nothing to do with sitting. The modifier Batna gives the nuance of an action done stupidly, unwisely, thoughtlessly. Tum ye kya kar bethe? What have you done? So stupid of you. Without thinking, he quit his job. He stupidly quit his job. I made a big mistake. What a fool I am. We thoughtlessly spent all the money. The next modifier is Utna. It means to rise. It expresses the suddenness of an action and it also expresses some kind of upward movement. Or wo bol utha. He suddenly spoke up. Usko dekhte hi mera chehra khil utha. My face lit up the moment I saw her. In these two examples in the English translation, you can see the word up, the adverb up. This is the nuance that shows some kind of upward motion. Suraj ki pehli kiran padte hi talab ka pani chamak utha. With the first ray of sun, the water in the lake started shimmering. When he saw me, he suddenly got up. The next modifying verb is Padna. It also expresses the suddenness of an action along with the downward motion, downward movement. I was walking and suddenly I fell down. Or rail chal padi. The train started moving down the tracks. Wo darkar dusri manzil se kut pada. Out of fear, he jumped from the second floor. And the final modifying verb in this grammar point is dalna. It means to pour, but it also completely loses this meaning. It expresses a speedy, a forceful, a vigorous, or a violent action. I finished all my work today. But the nuance is that I pushed through and finished all my work today. A forceful action is here. People have cut down all the trees here in this jungle. This example shows a violent action. In these two examples, since both verbs, the main and the modifying verbs are transitive and the tenses are perfective, the subject will take the postposition ne. Mane and Logone. Let's take another example. Wo apne sab dushmano ko maar dalega. He will kill all his enemies. Again, you can see the violent action here. The verb marna can mean to beat, but it can also mean to kill. But the verb maar dalna has only one meaning, and that is to kill. <laughs>